There is a version of you in the world which is important, which is respected, which is rich, which is capable, which is charismatic and funny and interesting. You're not him yet, but you need to make a plan to become that person. That person exists. Genuinely imagine what you would look like. Imagine where you would live. Imagine the car you would drive. Imagine how much your woman would respect you. Imagine the love you would see in her eyes when she looks at you with adoration like a king. That person is waiting for you. And the only thing that's stopping you from being that person is your monumental laziness. You can have it. The universe is very giving. It will give you anything you work for. I've never seen somebody try for something with all of their might and not get it. The only people who do not have the things they want are the people who do not try for them. I've never seen a person wake up and say, my only dedication in life is to solve a Rubik's Cube and fail. It's extremely important you understand that that person is waiting for you and you are declining that version of yourself. In the multiverse, in the many different versions of the universe that exist, there is a version of you that does those exact things. And he is a greater person than you can even fathom. You can transform yourself into that guy. You can be a top G. That's exactly what I did. I knew who I was gonna have to end up being before I became that person. I was not born a kickboxing world champion. I was not born internationally renowned. I was not born with money. I was not born with enough power, but I knew I had to be a big, strong fighting billionaire. That's what I knew I had to be. And I decided I wanted them and I saw them. The universe is extremely giving. It will give you anything you want. He imagined himself with a good body. He made a plan to get one. He followed the plan and he got it. I've never seen somebody who works hard, who's in the right networks, who is not rich. I've never seen somebody who dedicates himself to the gym and eats right, who is not in fantastic physical condition. It's impossible. When is the last time you made a brave decision? When's the last time you took a brave route and did a brave thing? When's the last time you did something brave and what was it? What have you done today which is gonna positively affect the outcome of your future? Most of you never self-reflect. You never look in the mirror and say, how did I end up where I am? Why am I the person I am? Why do I believe the things I believe? You don't self-analyze. So you don't understand how your own mind works, which means you don't understand why you are where you are. Because before you make a move on the chessboard, you need to analyze your position. Have you even thought about any of these things? Has it even crossed your mind? It's extremely important, gentlemen that you understand the chessboard and understand exactly where you are so you can make changes. Most of you are not actively building a future. You're not actively trying to build the dream life that you want to have. And then you expect it to just appear. I wake up every day and I think, how do I make my life better? Nobody else wakes up each day and goes, how do I make Andrew Tate's life better? So if you're not the person who's waking up every day going, how do I improve my existence? Then nobody is. I've never in my life seen anyone who's determined to get something not get it. I've never seen somebody who is determined in their heart to get something not get it. The universe and God is so giving and providing. People think it's difficult out here. I disagree. I've never seen someone wake up and say, nah, this is all I care about. This is all I want. Not get it. Everyone who thought that way in fighting was a world champion. Everyone who thought that way about money was rich. I've never seen anyone fail. Bro, I've seen people with no credit score and no job determined to get an R8, manage to get one on finance somehow. I've seen it. If it's all you want, you're gonna get it. You're gonna find a way to you're get it. You're gonna find a way. Yeah, yeah. People go, oh, I want this. If you want it, you have it. When have you sat and imagined your dream life? When have you self-analyzed and self-reflected and tried to work out where you've gone wrong? If I were to ask you that question, most of you would struggle to answer. My brother and I used to sit around and talk about what could be if only we managed to get it out. How it would feel to have this car. How it would feel to be in this place. How it would feel to be famous and internationally renowned. How it would feel to go to Saint Tropez and live on a yacht. How it would feel to be able to fly on private planes. How it would feel to not have to worry about food anymore. My brother and I used to imagine for hours. We used to talk about it. We believed in this version of reality where we somehow made it. But if you're in the middle, you don't do that. You don't want it enough to talk about it and imagine over the temporary dopamine and entertainment you can achieve from the PlayStation your mother bought you because your parents have enough money for PlayStations. We didn't have one. 
We couldn't get one. We couldn't afford it. You, uh, I'd like to be rich, but Netflix is on and the TV's on and mom's just brought the, me a Capri Sun. The heating's on. The, I'm not cold. Everything's fine. So you don't sit and imagine deep in your soul. Not only do you lack fire, not only do you lack motivation, you lack imagination. And that's why it's very important. You need to start believing you are the man, even if you're not yet. Before I was world champion, I knew I was going to be world champion. You have to believe these things. Poor people imagine escaping. And rich people have duty to their last name, which is instilled in them. So they are born and raised to be winners. So it's extremely important you develop your imagination as well as your fire. You need to start imagining what actual freedom is. You need to start seeing beyond the confines of your comfort. You need to start developing the hunger it's gonna take for you to elevate to the highest possible echelons and stop being enslaved by your comfort because that's what you're enslaved by. It's extremely important. So if you love your family mm. and you love your last name and you're proud of yourself, mm. then you have a duty to be massively monumentally successful to show homage to your ancestors. You owe these people things. You have a debt, you have a duty to pay. You have to be the best possible version of yourself. And the same to God. God loves people who try. God loves people who work hard. It's amazing if you try your very best all the time, what God will give you. The only shortcut to life is to never miss a day. One, because of compounding interest. And two, because sometimes you get lucky. And you'll never miss a lucky day if you try every day. If you don't try every day, you might miss your lucky day. And that's what people don't understand. If you never miss a day and you never don't try and you're always on time and you try and improve every aspect of your life and you're a professional and you try and make sure that you analyze your decisions, you give yourself feedback, you don't make mistakes, you're not lazy, he'll give it to you, anything you want. If you actually try, not, not convincing yourself you try, actually try, they're different things. The beautiful thing about the period we're is that I actually truthfully believe if you are not lazy and you pay attention and you get the right education, anybody can get rich. So if you ever lack motivation, you have to understand that you're doing exactly what your enemy wants you to do. You wouldn't lack motivation if you were starving, so you're not poor. You have food in your fridge, but you lack motivation because you're somewhere in the middle getting extracted from. It is all a test. If you've done nothing brave, that you can mention instantly off the top of your head, then what you need to do is something brave quickly. It's extremely important that you get hunger, that you get motivation, that you get bravery. It's extremely important you get these things done. You need to now, and this is the actionable, guys. You need to cultivate a lifestyle which is gonna endlessly give you fire inside of your heart so that you never struggle with motivation ever again. You need to cultivate that with your social circle. So you need to be around motivated, hungry men. You need to cultivate it with the decisions you make. If smoking weed kills your fire, don't smoke weed. If drinking booze kills your fire, don't drink booze. But you need to sit down and look at your life and say, what's gonna make me as motivated as possible? Is it developing an imagination to imagine my dream life? I'm sure it is. Is it having a social circle of people who are always trying to elevate? I'm sure it is. Is it having a girlfriend who supports me in all of my dreams? I'm sure it is. You need to then sit there, look at every facet of your life, analyze it one by one, and develop a lifestyle which is gonna give you endless fire because without it, you are going to lose. It is extremely important that you are never in a position where you lack motivation ever again. It is extremely important that you never an opportunity that is handed to you ever again. And these things are conscious choices you make by changing your lifestyle. Yeah, and there's one thing you missed uh, here as well. You're saying, imagine the woman you'd have, imagine the physique you'd have, imagine the, the, the bank balance you, you'd have. Here's another one, imagine the friends you'd have. Because a question I get a lot is, hey, I wanna come hang out with you. Hey, I wanna meet you and your brother. Hey, I wanna be at that table. Um, why would I want you at my table? The person who Andrew just described is the type of person I want to be around. These are the Justin Wallers. These are the Alex Stanchews. These are the people who do not quit, who do everything they're supposed to do all the time, every day. And just by coincidence, those people end up at my table. Birds of a feather flock together. So don't ask me, oh, I want to meet you. How can I work with you? How can I hang out with you? You'll end up at the table with other millionaires, billionaires, smart, successful, strong people if you are one of them. The power of belief is real. You must believe all of the things you want to have are going to happen. You must see through time with a plan in place so you can see it all come true to be the man you want to be. You can have anything you want. 
All you have to do is make a plan and see it. So there's no such thing as faking it before you make it. No, you see it and you make it come true. You make everybody else accept your version of reality. You see a version of yourself inside of your mind. And when other people do not see it, when they look at you, you bend space time and change your outward projection, your avatar. So others view you exactly the way you see yourself. It is called belief. You cannot escape that hard work is always the correct decision. There is no time in any scenario when working hard is going to be the wrong answer. You should always try your very best in all things. The best option, the best thing to do is still to get up, be an adult, control your emotions, be stoic, and do the things you're supposed to do day after day. Laying in bed and doing nothing is never going to be the best option. The best option is still to go to the gym, to work hard, to run your business, to be successful. So it doesn't matter. We're talking about the different positions on the chessboard. But if the rules of the game remain the same, regardless of the position, you're still trying to win. All I know, what I will say as a matter of fact, is this world is hyper competitive, especially as a man. Most men are walking through life and they don't realize that it's constant competition. I think a lot of, a lot of the problem with people, especially in the world today, is they, they misunderstand the difference between a, a dream and a plan. Mm. And nothing good in your life is ever going to happen by accident. If you see a guy in fantastic shape, you don't say, how'd you get in great shape? And he goes, it just oops, happened. oops, <laughs> I just fell. And it, no, he, he ate a specific way. He trained a specific time. He did specific things for a specific outcome. And it's the same with finances. And most people who are broke, if you say, do you want to be rich? Yeah, I want to be rich. Mm. How are you going to get rich? One day. I'll win the lottery. Yeah, don't. You have, no, you have no plan. <laughs> you have no plan whatsoever. No actionable steps. No, you're not doing things daily. You're just hoping some point in the future, God's going to just, just dump it on your doorstep. Guess what? It ain't going to happen. Mm. And unless you have a plan, a specific plan, I'm sure you guys had a very, you had a plan and you worked hard to get to your points. I, I had a plan. Everything was like, okay, today we have to do day after day after day until you get there. And this is what most people don't have because they're too arrogant or too lazy. I don't think it's stupid. I think most people, if you laid out a plan and they tried their very best and they were willing to learn, could do it. I believe in future Andrew. Like right now, I consider myself an absolute genius with unmatched perspicacity, sheer indefatigability, and brutal competence. In 10 years from now, I'll be even better. Mm. So I can spend, let's imagine I want to spend all our money, $1.1 billion, whatever. I spend it all today. Okay. Future Andrew ain't gonna be a brokey. Yeah. Future Andrew is no way gonna sit around He'll take care of it. feeling sorry for himself. Future Andrew is gonna fix it because Andrew's a fixer and I'm only gonna get better with time. I believe in future me. I do not fear a jail sentence. I do not fear going broke. I do not fear haters. I do not fear a bullet. If it is possible to be fixed, future Andrew's gonna fix it. In fact, if you were to say to me, Andrew, a problem's coming up in three years from now, who do you want to fix it for you? The number one person I would choose would be future Andrew. Mm. I'll be a better version of myself in three years than I am today, because I know that three years ago, I was not as capable as I am right now. Mm. I believe in future me, so I live without fear. Discipline is the key to success. If you cannot force yourself to do something you don't want to do, if you cannot force yourself to train when you do not want to train, if you cannot force yourself to work when you don't want to work, if you can't force yourself to not log into Pornhub or force yourself to eat right, how can you possibly ever become a monumentally successful person if you cannot control yourself long enough to do what must be done as opposed to what you feel like doing? A man must do what he is supposed to do regardless, irregardless of how he feels. That is the key component to masculinity is discipline. I don't train because I want to get bigger. I train every day because it is difficult to train every day. It hurts. I don't want to. I wake up and I'm busy. I have other things to do. I don't feel like doing it. So I force myself to do it seven days a week, 365 days a year so that I know I'm the kind of person who can do what he doesn't want to do when it needs to be done. I am that man. And it's more of a mental exercise than a physical exercise at this point. How can you ever outcompete me if I can force myself to do the things I don't want to do and you cannot? Discipline is absolutely essential for success and you need to get very comfortable and very used to the idea of understanding that on your path to greatness, there are going to be long periods of time where you hate what you are doing, where you are dissatisfied with the actions you must undertake, where you are tired, where you are stressed. That is why it is difficult. That is why most people won't make it. If the path was easy, everybody would walk it and it would lead nowhere. A hundred people start the path 
99 fall off because it is difficult and the one person who makes it to the end gets the gold. If all 100 made it to the end and the gold was divided by 100, it wouldn't even be worth anything. The difficulty gives it value. The fact that it is difficult to do is the key component into the fact you want it in the first place. If it wasn't difficult, everyone would have it and you wouldn't want it because no one would respect it. It's supposed to be hard. So you have to build yourself from the ground up and that's scary for a lot of people, but it's also a massive opportunity. You can decide if you wanna be a famous musician or a nice sensitive poet or a painter or a kickboxing world champion or a businessman. You get to decide on all the different characters in the video game. You can choose who do I wanna be? And then if you actually try, actually try, you can become it. Isn't that amazing? You can wake up and go, you know what? I wanna be this kind of guy. I knew who I wanted to be. I wanted to be the dude pulling up in the Lambo, three in the morning, gets out. Everyone's like, who is this big, strong, rich dude? I wanted to be that man, so I became him. Go, you can choose your yeah. character and build it. A lot of people don't have the ability to understand the compounding effect of doing the right thing time after time. Even if you start a new business, you don't know what to do. I guarantee if you're always on time, if you're a builder and you're <laughs> always on time, take the basic shit, just be on time. Yeah. Over time, you may, you may think, oh, I was just on time, no one notices. Trust me, across 10 years, that's the difference between being a successful builder yeah. and not being a successful builder. There's nothing stopping you from winning besides yourself. Everything you do needs to be deliberately geared and designed towards giving you motivation and making you feel hunger inside of yourself. Then you must take all of that fire, turn it into positive energy and exude it out into the universe. God will be happy that you're taking action as opposed to just sitting still quietly waiting for rain to appear while being submissive and subservient. No, you have to go out there and do things. Your discipline will shape your destiny, but it is extremely easy to be disciplined if all you've ever known is struggle. Guys, unless you take action and do things that show the universe you deserve a life beyond somewhere stuck in the middle, simply being extracted from and affording lifestyles for other people who have had either a better upbringing, perhaps had an advantage you did not have, or they started below you and surpassed you. You as a man should be offended by the fact that my brother and I started miles below you and have surpassed you in every single human metric. That should bother you. You should be inspired by us, but you should also sit there and go, why are they beating me? They started below me. They started the race way back there. And I was so lazy and I took life for granted and I expected everything to be given to me that these guys have managed to lap me and surpass me based purely on hunger and grit alone. They had no advantages. All they had was this innate desire to do anything it took. So if you love your family mm. and you love your last name and you're proud of yourself, mm. then you have a duty to be massively monumentally successful to show homage to your ancestors. You have a debt, you have a duty to pay. You have to be the best possible version of yourself. And the same to God. God loves people who try. God loves people who work hard. Mm. It's amazing if you try your very best all the time, what God will give you. Mm -hmm. He'll give it to you, anything you want, mm -hmm. if you actually try. Not, not convincing yourself you try, actually try. Mm -hmm. They're different things. Every single day you need to wake up, take action, and get things done. And we are waiting for you up here at the top.